Hey everyone, Brandon, and I'm back today, guys. I'm gonna show you a quick preview of what the expense tracker is gonna look like in an all new 2022 planner. We're gonna take this receipt and we're gonna put it in our planner so that when you're out and about or you're just tracking your receipts for the month, you'll be able to save those in your planner and recall them at any time, categorize them, write down how much they are, if there's something you're gonna bill to a customer, if they're reimbursable, and just some information and notes about it. I am working out of my upstairs den. It's not um, the best situation for video, but I'm in the process of remodeling our lower level. With COVID, we just need to have a little more space. So guys, I apologize. This is not going to be a good video, but I wanna be able to give you guys a look of what this expense tracker looks like. And over the next couple months, we will continue to show you some of the new items that are gonna be in the new 2022 Keach Success Planner. And I promise you, when it is done, we will have a full tutorial on the expense tracker and we'll show you all the elements that's in it. But right now, let's just show you how you can record this receipt and put it in the expense tracker. <music> So we're gonna start by showing you how you can use a Samsung Note. Opening OneNote here, I'm gonna navigate through my planner to our business management section, which will be a new section in the planner and click on February to indicate the month. And here you can see the expense tracker template. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my photo and I'm gonna take a picture of my receipt after choosing document. Different phones have different ways you can take pictures of documents, but here you can see I take a really nice clean picture of that receipt. I can go ahead and insert that receipt and click on it and hold and resize that photo down to the frame of the expense tracker. From here, I'm able to go in and actually take a look at my expenses. And if you have a phone with a stylus, like we do with the Samsung Note, you are now able to go ahead and right on the go, go ahead and handwrite those notes. You can write your date, the meal expense or the expense category, what period it is in, the amount that you charge. Now, if you have an iPad, as you can see in the background here, you can easily do that in your iPad. If you have a phone you wanna type in it or a desktop, you can do that as well. And there's just so many different things that you can enter. We also put in, is this gonna be billed to a customer? Is there a vendor? Is this a reimbursable expense? Is it something that we're gonna build out to a customer? But here you also have a large section that you can write notes. So if you're on a trip or you're doing some type of project, you can really indicate what that expense is. Now, you can also go ahead and take a look here at the iPad. And again, I apologize for this video a little bit, but I'm working in some crude environments here for the next week or two. But here you can see that those items already copied over to my iPad, the notes I just took on my Samsung phone. And I can also go ahead and make additional notations if there's things on that expense or receipt that I want to highlight, if there's something that I want to call out, if I want to go ahead and add additional notes to that. That's what's so great about using OneNote is you are able to go across different devices and share and sync those notes. So as you see here, we have an iPad. Just took that picture on my phone with a Samsung Note and almost instantly that receipt went ahead and tracked. I can also still use the iPad to move that receipt and resize it if I would need to. Again, this is just a great way for business people, people in professions, even those that have at-home businesses to be able to add expense tracking to their day. So this is something that's new and it's part of our 2022 planner. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this little quick look at what this expense tracker is gonna look like in 2022. I already started to use it now, and it's been something that's been really helpful for the last few weeks as I get going and get moving along with my year. It's great to be able to record those receipts as they happen or any of those expenses, especially if I'm working on client work. That way when I have a job or something I'm purchasing, I'm able to put that right in there. So if you like this video, if you like what we're doing, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, follow us as we get ready to showcase the 2022 planner.